Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 8 of Let's Play I Am Setsuna. Okay, it's now time to finally go to Black Bomb Cave. Again. But hopefully we can save that boy from getting slaughtered by knights. Humans! Hey, don't be scared. It's me. You're that girl from before. That's right. I'm glad you remembered me. I'm glad I got to see you again one last time. I'm gonna go kill that woman before she comes to kill me. No! You mustn't do that. You mustn't kill anyone. You're a gentle boy. I know you are. But Mama's gone. I'm scared. What am I supposed to do? Live. You need to live here and live on. What good will that do? Well, you meant me, right? If you keep on living, you're sure to meet other people too. That's how lives become linked to one another. I don't get it. One day you will. All you need to do is keep living. Alright, I'll try. I'll try living, like you say. I feel like I can trust you. But why are you being so kind to me? I'm on a journey to try and make sure there's a future for everyone. I want that future to include you. Thank you. Alright, I'll do my best. It's a promise. Yeah, it's a promise. Alright, I promise. Goodbye. I hope you'll be alright. You'll be fine. I'm glad to hear you say that. I think so too. I believe in him. In his future. I want things to change. No matter how long that might take. This land. This way of life. The relationship between humans and monsters. Come on, let's go back. If we hang around here too long, Julianne will get suspicious, right? Ha! Don't worry about her. One blast of my magic and she'll be sorry she ever messed with us. Yes, yes, alright. Do I hear my name? What are you doing here? Training. Yet you stand around talking cordially? What lacks training? Bah! Mind your own business. Huh. Anyway. You head back to the village. My people are about to hold a banquet in your honor. I hope you shall accept their gratitude. We'll be happy to. I had heard that the masked mercenaries favored solitude and avoided contact with others. But you are remarkably socially disposed, it would seem. Unless, of course, you insinuate something else entirely. You're imagining things. I suppose it's easy to get paranoid when you're ahead of a knighthood. Come on, let's go! Whoa! Damn! She took that thing out of one clean hit! Guess she ain't all talk after all. What was it you said again? One blast of your magic and she'd... Alright, we better protect ourselves. Setsuna! If you're not gonna fight, move. Andir is right! I understand how you feel, but we can't reason with all the monsters. You have to understand that. Yes, I know. I'm sorry for worrying you. Huh? 
It's just a little snake. Oh yeah, also I've been using prayer, and it's really good. It just recovers MP. So you don't have to worry about ever running out for it. It's called a Snector. What a great name. How'd it go? Are you unharmed? I must say, I am impressed with your prowess in battle. You would make fine recruits for the knighthood. Yeah, not interested. I see. How unfortunate. Very well. I shall return to the village ahead of you. Try not to be too tardy. Ah, what's with her? Come on, let's go. There's gonna be a banquet, right? There will be. I'll bring the cup perilla next to the potato salad and the thicker on mayonnaise potato salad. Here's another potato salad, but this one's purple. It got beets in it. Oh, and that one has peas, too. Yeah, have fun with that. Hey, look! There's a big fire over there. They must be getting our banquet ready. Oh, God, that's a very rude response. We can't help fighting the monsters. Yes, I know. I understand that. I know it's not that easy. If everything could be solved by talking things through, then the sacrificial pilgrimage wouldn't have gone on this long. But still... I believe that we can change things on this journey. We're not really gonna go to the banquet, are we? Don't we already have a guide? We still need one. You're right. We need to find someone to take us across the ice and get out of here. What? So we're not going to go to the banquet after all? No, please. Go ahead. Take your time. You're scaring me, Eterna. Come on, I was only kidding. Let's all go, all go and look. We must be able to find someone who can help us get across the Floberg waters. I thought we already found someone, but I guess not. Huh? What are they doing? A knight must never turn his back on a monster. No matter the circumstances. You must remember this always. Unless our hearts are as one, our kingdom shall never be restored. And despite this... In our last battle against the monsters, these two young knights attempted to turn tail and flee. Not only is this unbefitting conduct for a knight, it is impediment to our kingdom's restoration. Thus, in the glorious and honorable name of our kingdom, I, Julian, hereby sentence these two men to death. Please wait! We didn't try to turn tail! We had no choice but to turn our backs on the monsters. To aid a child who had failed to escape. Silence! Enough of your feeble excuses. Why, Lady Julienne? Before, you would command us to always prioritize human life over combat. So why? Why do you now lust for violence so? Do you take pleasure in doing battle with the monsters? Not only are you blind to your failings, but you attempt to turn the blame onto me. Despicable. Simply inexcusable. Whoa, whoa, come on. 
Is this your idea of a banquet lady? This is crazy! Aha! It is the heroes who saved our village. Is something wrong? There's no need to execute them. Damn right there ain't! What are you, crazy? What the hell is carrying on like this in front of your own people possibly gonna accomplish? The people of the village look up to you so much! Why are you doing this? What? Why are you trying to kill the very people you are supposed to be protecting? You must protect the lives of those who will create the future! You are to lecture me on the preciousness of life, are you? You travelers, judging by both your performance in battle and the tone you now take, you would appear you are not in fact mere travelers at all. What noble cause is this journey of yours in aid of, pray tell? The future of this land and the lives of everyone in it, that's what's in it, what it's in aid of. The future of this land? And the lives of everyone in it? I see. I had my... Suspicions. But now... It is certain. You are the sacrifice. And our party. Are you not? Be gone! Ah! Care! Why? Why is the sacrifice alive? Lady Julianne, please control yourself. Quickly, carry Her Highness inside at once. Here, are you alright? You're not injured, are you? Ah, I'm done for. Gah, I'll never make it! If you got that much energy left, I think you'll be fine. Hey! Right at the last moment, I used my magical energy to soften the blow, you know. Any regular person would have been lucky to get away with their life. Anyway, what the hell happened to Julianne just now? Forget about her! If we're gonna leave here, let's do it now. We do still need someone to show us across the Floberg waters, though. Why don't we take another look around, just in case? Hey, you want to look right in their hideout? Oh, well, definitely not you. What on earth has happened to her? Huh? She's. He's having a mood. And we'll leave it at that. No one's ever accomplished anything on an empty stomach. Could you accomplish being a guide? No, you can't. How much money do I have? Um, enough. Not as much as I had hoped, but it's something. What about you? It's as if Lady Julianne has changed completely. You got a bad feeling about this, I would say. Maybe I can check that sauna? No, I would never want to go back there. What about you? I can't believe this is happening to Lady Julian. She's lost her senses. Perhaps her childhood friend Lilas might know something. Lilas? Where's Lilas then? I'll have to keep that in mind, but for now. We still gotta go find a guide. Maybe there is one in the sauna. But first, let's sell off some of the stuff we just got. Uh, 
Oh, steam bath obsession. And you're no help either. So that was a waste of time. So far, no such luck. Nope, not you. You? That's the third strongest in the whole knighthood. <laughs> but is he a guide? If he's not, we're not interested. You know, we kind of kept you from getting killed. Do we dare go in here? No, it's the other house. You like snow, good for you. And you're no help. Do we dare go in where Julian is? That sounds like a recipe for disaster. Oh, she's still unconscious. That's locked. We haven't found anyone. Oh, we can't even leave. Is there somebody we did not talk to? Huh. I'm gonna go in here again. I'm sure I went in here already. As long as this talk about Lilas. Who is Lilas? Where is Lilas? So far, we got no leads. Did we not talk to you? Y yes? What is it? Uh... Can you take us across the ice? Me? But right now, I cannot possibly. You're that guy Julienne knocked out cold, ain't ya? Yes, that's me. Um, would you please tell us a little about Julienne? You get the feeling she isn't her normal self right now. So you can tell. Hmm, where should I begin? When we first got here, you were arguing with Julienne, right? What was that about? What was the day she changed? I remember it vividly. One day, when out slaying monsters, she ended up stranded. Stranded? Word reached the village that she and her companions had been caught up in an avalanche. Julianne should have been alright, but she went back for a lone knight who failed to get away in time. There was a fierce blizzard, and eventually she gave up all hope that she could have survived. But then one day, a month or so later, Julianne returned to the village, alone. Most people rejoiced and called it a miracle, but some were puzzled. Thinking about it logically, survival should have been impossible. All I know is that ever since that day, Julianne has changed. Sometimes she is so cruel and ruthless that I kind of cannot even believe it is her. But everything she does, she does for the sake of the people. At least, that is what I thought. So, what did you mean about Julianne asking you for help? Julianne came to me with a request. She said that if she were to ever turn her blade against an innocent person, if that ever happened, then she wanted me to lock her away, 
somewhere far away from anyone. Lock her away? That's a pretty odd thing to ask someone to do, ain't it? Something is happening to Julienne. I was worried. So I talked it over with the man from the Magic Consortium here in our village. He said it may be possible to return her to her old self. But to do so, I need a certain medicine. So buy it for her. He will not sell it to me. He says he would only give it to me in exchange for a Spirit Knight Stone carried by a certain monster. Defeat the monster then. I am not strong like you. Please, help Julianne. I beg of you. We'd love to help you, kid, but, well, you know. Alright, we'll do it. What? Come on. But we too have a condition. A condition? If we get the medicine in exchange for the Sprit Knight, you'll help us get across the Floberg waters. How about that? Huh? Really? All I need to do is help you across? You better keep your word. Of course! I promise. You think he's really up to it? Uh... Thank you. Thank you! Come. Let us talk to the person from the Magic Consortium and find out the details. Where else are we going to find a monster to? Is it going to be that tough one over at the mountains? Julia never used to be so fixated on combat. Now it's like she cares about nothing else. It's as if she has become a completely different person. Did you want something? Oh, it's you again. You want to save her, right? It's like I told you last time, pal. You need to bring me the Sprit Knight. So, are you up to it or not? Tell us what we need to do. You're going in his place, are you? Hmm. Well, I guess you do look pretty strong. Very well. If you pull it off, I'll mix some medicine up specially. It's just one condition. I'll only do it in exchange for a Madara Sprit Knight. A Madara Sprit Knight? They can only be obtained from the body of a certain monster. So you want us to defeat the monster and bring back the Sprit Knight Stone, right? Exactly. I see. Nice and simple. What illness has she got? It's not even what you'd call an illness. But she's in a very dangerous condition. But, but... Her magical energy isn't like that of a normal person. What do you mean? Magical energy flows through all living things in this world. Some much more than others, of course. And magical energy has one fixed rule, too. What rule is that? One person can only possess one type of magical energy. Just like blood types. Everyone only has one, right? Right, yeah. You can use Sprint Knight to temporarily change magical energy, though. Anyway, for some reason, I could definitely sense two types of energy from her. Is that possible? No, not normally. But something strange is happening inside her. I can't even imagine what could have caused it, though. I've been watching her, and she's getting worse by the day. I think she might have even lost control of her own will by now. You've been watching her? Is that how you get your kicks? Well, I'm running a business here. Doing people favors won't help put dinner on the table, right? Anyway, we need to hurry, don't we? Please, I beg of you. Please save Julianne. Once we do, you'll be our guide. Of course. I shall give it my absolute utmost. Don't worry. You can count on us. Thank you. Thank you. So all we need to do is go back to the Floberg waters and defeat this monster, right? 
You need to defeat a monster called a Scarly. How long it takes you to find the Sprit Knight will depend on your luck. Well, don't give up. Have you fought a Scarly? I don't think we have. Oh no, we definitely haven't. Alright, back to the waters. We can finally go. Alright, let's do this. So the sponsor called the Scarly is the Sprit Knight, right? He said it would be down to luck. Which means they won't necessarily have one. Let's do our best. Lila is counting on us too. You don't even know what it looks like. It's not these. Ooh, Cyclone with Momentum Power? I suppose we're gonna add one more. That'll be our fifth Lux on it, though. Now it's gonna do even more damage in this. Yeah! I'll probably have to go out of my way to try to get more flux on other characters. It's just that Cyclone is just doing so much. And I might need to wait until I find a good farming spot for it. I don't think we have that yet. Hey, you can't even walk on this if you wanted to. Oh, is this it? This wasn't here before. How tough are they? Oh, tough enough. Oh, we got three of them. Well, we only need to get one. I think that should get us three batches of medicine. So we can over medicate Julian. She won't get agitated at us now. Well, looks like things have just changed around here again. They already moved the bonfire. We weren't gone that long. Dang, they, they work hard. Here. Oh my! Incredible! You, f you found one! Thank you! Now we shall be able to save Julienne! Wow. Oh. Ah. Uh. Um. Will you give us the medicine for Julienne, please? Oh, yes, right. Sorry, sorry. I got a bit carried away there. Here it is, as promised. It's very hard to make. Which is why it's so valuable, you see? 
Come on, quickly! We need to know- we need to go and give Julianne the medicine! Ah, oh, would you like another fix? Oh, it's worth 120 a pop! That's a pretty good value proposition. Alright, what supports can I get? Mm, none of these are very extravagant. Can also inflict confusion and stun. Okay, I'll get that for Eterna. Might as well get you a stop as well. Do we have any new slots for anyone? No. Surely nothing will go wrong now. Who goes there? Ah, travelers. It is you. What is the matter? I see. So she takes this medicine. There's a chance that she shall recover? Yes! Come, Cornelius! We have no time to waste! But... You can't just pretend not to notice. Ugh. Oh, I cannot deny it. You are exactly right. Too long have we buried our heads in the sand, saying it is for the sake of our kingdom's restoration. The blame for our highness's condition lies with us also. Very well. Will you give me the medicine? Why do you have to administer it? Ah! My head! Julianne! Lilas? Your Highness! Cornelius! I... Where am I? No. I know you. I've seen all of you before. Do you remember what you did to me? I am sorry. I do not. What is it that I did? You, uh... You stroked my head! Yeah. Give it a nice little stroke. I see. What a weirdo. So you don't remember much of anything that happened recently at all, then? Please let me offer you my sincere and humble apologies for any inconvenience I have caused. Oh, don't worry about us. You get good and rested up. Then show everyone you're back to your old self. I am grateful for your kindness. Julienne! Please take care of yourself. You're irreplaceable to all the people here. You're like a beacon of hope to them. Thank you. I shall engrave your words upon my heart. Don't you have anything to add, Andir? Of course. I owe Julian's life to you. I shall do everything in my power to assist you. I am sorry that I do not recall this. After everything you have done for me. But tell me, to where do you next intend to travel? Uh, well... It is not the last lands, for chance? Huh? How did you know? I see. I thought you know ordinary travelers. For you to be journeying with such capable companions... Your destination could only be the last lands. At any rate, I shall take responsibility for seeing them across safely. You rest, Julien. Come, I shall be your guide. Finally, time to get going. Please take care, Julien.
I should be praying for your safe arrival in the last lands. Yeah, sure. Well, alright. I guess you don't have much else to add. Okay, the wares have not changed. Should I get some new talismans? I should go for the more expensive stuff. Okay, Heart of Kronos might be good. Uh, attack power and support bonus. That's with a masked arrow warrior gauntlet. None of these have extra bonus effects. So I guess we'll live with that. Torn Pact? Sure, I'll try that one too. Wait! Julienne, what are you doing? You need rest! No, I am fine. I... I wish for you to take me with you on your journey. You only just recovered, didn't ya? You sure you're up to it? If I should become a hindrance to you, you are free to cast me off at any time. I wish to go to the Last Lands and see the truth with my own eyes. See the truth? To see the kingdom, you mean? It is certain beyond all doubt that the kingdom has long perished. Perhaps no traces of the old capital even still remain. It is said that ordinary people cannot even reach the Last Lands, so I must go there for myself. The only thing that I do already know for certain is that a great power dwells there. The royal blood that flows through my veins tells me that it is so. Although it shames me to say it, I do not know if the source of that power is indeed what brought about my kingdom's ruin. I cannot send my men into mortal battle without being absolutely certain of this fact. The lives of my fellow countrymen hang in the balance. Julienne! So to summarize, your goal is different, but your destination is the same, and you want to come with us. Well, why not? It won't make any difference to our journey whether she comes along or not, right? What do you think, Undir? Alright, do what you want. Thank you. I'm in your debt. In return, my strength is yours to use as you see fit. I hereby swear my allegiance to you. You know, I don't think you have to take everything quite so seriously. He's right, Julianne. Talk about formal. It's important to be able to take it easy sometimes, too, you know. You're a fine one to talk, old man. Lilas, I apologize for having caused you concern. As you have heard, I am to accompany them on their journey. I shall return with the truth. That is a promise. And together, we shall all strive towards the true restoration of our kingdom. Very well. These people are worthy of your trust. You must place it in them. Thank you. You are truly a good friend. <laughs> friend. Uh, yes. Right. I suppose that is enough for me. Please look after Julianne. With her as your guide, I know I need not worry for your safety. Okay, we got a new party member. Starts at level 17. Uh, I guess I can replace Nadir for a while. Alright, let's take a look at your talisman. Of course, it's one of those basic ones. What would be a good one for you? Uh, maybe... Critical power, MP consumed, and support bonus? 
What Sprint Knight do you have? You have Jump! I'll have to give you some other stuff then. Let me see if we can actually buy some Sprit Knight for her. I think we should do that before we go, because Jump is fine, but not as the only thing you should have. Scroll all the way down to Julian. Okay, here we go. Ice? We could get ice. And frost? Yeah, I guess we should get end frost. Do we have commanding wave? We got one commanding wave. We should get another one. We don't have a fire shield. Get that. We already got a stone shield. That's as good as it's gonna be for now. There, jump, ice, and end frost. Commanding wave should also be good. Uh, what else will be good? Uh, not many options. Maybe all seeing eye. And we'll go with Fire Shield. Hopefully we can get some more for her. But for now, I think we should head to the waters. Don't think I'll get very far in this episode. I'll just save it for the next one. Not without taking an extra Citron, though. And a Ginger. And a Lever. Oh, this thing again. Yeah, you ain't getting away from me, Owl. There's still pushovers as usual. Oh, they take zero damage to ice. I thought it would at least still be able to do some. But no, you do nothing. Yeah, fix that. That was considered a water kill regardless. Lightning has momentary defense. I don't think I got that flux bonus, so we'll take it. What luck you have? Why do you say that? The waves are calm, and the ice is still. The temperature is also ideal. We shall be able to cross the surface of the ice without worry. Perhaps it's thanks to you, Julian. You think she's got special powers? Don't take everything so literally. Of course she doesn't. Right, Julian? If I did, I would be more astonished than anyone. Huh. 
Oh, hello. Chocolate. Oh, come on, one HP. It survived on one HP. You want to go too, huh? Oh, we gotta wait for her to come back down. So it's that kind of jump, huh? An ancient bronze pot. These are still finding lots of crap on the ground. Some things never change, do they? Oh, you can't do lightning damage to that? Ooh, critical power! Oh yeah, I already have critical power. Uh... I'm gonna say off. What talisman do I have on? Unscathed power, critical power, momentum power. I would like to get unscathed power. Is there any other talismans that offer that? I don't know, maybe tech power. Let's just get tech power. Five mid either mid ethers. Let's go. Oh, there's more to this place, huh? Wait, didn't I already get an eternity laver? See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Because the mirrors be thick. And poofy. <laughs> How do you keep surviving on 1 HP? What the hell? At least I'm reserved seeing enemies with 1 HP. Unlike when I'm playing Pokemon. <laughs> oh, that one saw me. Oh no, it didn't see me! Ow! Bushy Bond? Sounds hot. Wait, what? Uh, I guess I'll be using Shock. That missed somehow. Oh, they're... All stats up includes evasion, of course. Duh. See ya. Okay. It looks like left is where you need to go. An anima staff. Hey, look here. We got a new weapon for ya. You like staves, right? Just want to see if there's a sparkly on the ground. There was not. Oh, 
Bye. Oh, there is a sparkly on the ground. It's right here. Antique indigo ring. What am I doing for my collection? What's the one you're looking for? Locations, of course. 24 out of 25? I'm only missing one thing. Awesome. Oh, there's a save point here. Oh, but which way do you go? Well, we'll find that out in the next episode. Alright, everyone. See you later.